So people welcome to your 14th WX Python tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys a little more about modals or models whatever they're called um, and also I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a simple list of actually will someone actually uh, google MO let's uh, get this type MO come on MODAL and figure out if that's modal or model I don't know how to say it because I was just learning it all reading so someone please figure out how to say it and leave a comment and I will thank you so as you can see I got a new Python file open because we're gonna be doing something a little bit different this time so let's start new import WX instead of putting all this in our init constructor function we're actually just gonna be putting it in our main if statement since it's gonna be um, a lot easier so let's go ahead and put if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals main underscore underscore main underscore underscore um, what do we want to do well the first thing that we would there we go first thing that we need to do <coughs> oh got whooping cough from eating crackers is make our application object and set this to equal to wx pi simple app there we go and don't forget your empty parameters so now this is pretty much our main if statement and now we can get the good stuff the beef of the tutorial what I'm gonna tell you now I'm gonna be showing you how to make a box with a list as choices so first we need a list so let's say we want the user to uh, pick from a list of names or something let's make a list and call it names and put a couple names in there Bucky probably gonna spell all these wrong uh, Lucky, uh, Sarah, and how about Dustin? And looks good to me. And after you have your list, you can go ahead and make your dialog box. And this is going to be um, the keyword for this is single choice dialog. So I just name it modal or model. I don't know how to say it, but I will after someone finds out for me. Uh, WX single choice there we go dialog and make sure you type that right you can name it whatever you want but make sure you type that part right now this takes a couple of funky parameters so listen the first is its parent and unlike the last one where we had panel this is going to be none since it's going to sit right in the main uh, modal so after this um, our next parameter is it's like the uh, caption over top so it tells them what to do so let's just put what's your name now the next parameter the third parameter after this it's called the caption but it's pretty much the title when you're working with modals anytime um well pretty much caption and title mean the same thing so the third one is the title never mind all that stuff i just said so let's put title here and your last parameter that you absolutely need are the choices that you want it's pretty much your list so I'm gonna put names because whatever you named your list because you can have many of these but uh, you gotta give it this so it knows what one to work with so now we have um, pretty much a single choice dialog but it doesn't do a whole lot so let's give it a little bit of functionality let's make a simple if statement but if modal um, I can't type and talk at the same time show modal empty parameters and this is just gonna mean if you click the OK button so WX ID OK so this means alright if you click the OK button what do we want to do well let's print out a simple statement and let's just put your name is and then put um, a string variable new line and then for that variable we want uh, whatever they picked and their choice is going to be equal to get string selection right there with empty parameters and modal there we go don't forget to destroy it when you're done with it sounds violent but uh, just make sure you don't have any memory leaks or anything I think it does it automatically I'm not sure but just to be safe do that now let me run it see how many errors I got and then I will show you how it works get this out of the way uh, what's your name and now we get to pick from a list of names so let's go ahead and pick Buckley right there click OK and when we click OK it prints out your name is Buckley and let me show you guys one more time why this worked 
and let me get my box up again that's what she said and here you go again this is just housekeeping don't mind that your names that's just a list we created just as regular Python not WX at all now our WX is we made a modal variable and we set it equal to the single choice dialog and again it has no parent what's your name right here as the caption you can see here the title goes at the top and the last names is whatever you want inside it and then we just added some functionality to say alright when we clicked OK if this equals OK then we just want to print out on our main program whatever this is and this would be your um, string whatever you pick but you could probably uh, figure that out from just playing around with it so that's that for this tutorial and the next tutorial uh, I'm probably going to be going over something awesome, so don't forget to watch it, and uh, once you master this, you're ready to move on to that. So again, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Oh, and by the way, don't forget to subscribe.